So you're gonna walk in and give me the worst ways to turn your girl on. Easy. Girl, you turn me on more than Edward Cullen when Bella's on day two of her menstruation. Zach! It's the heaviest flow day. I'm aware, And I'm he likes woman. blood. The map is there. I think I just invoked my period. Well, no, actually, I'm serious. You know, it might not be as long as your last boyfriend's, but it sure is skinnier. Ew, why would anyone want a pencil? Kids in school use pencils all the time. That, that came off. Zach, no. That came off, like, we both know how that came yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to say people use pencils. But then came... you said kids. I did say kids. And it made it so much worse. Babe, I don't even want to have sex. I just want to know what happened to the clowns in 2016 that no one's talking about anymore. They all tried to kill us, and then where did they go? I feel like they're still out there, and no one's talking about it. They're about to rearrange my knee in such a way that hopefully I can walk better in the future. In other words, I'm having surgery today. Am I talking a lot because I'm nervous? Of course not. Whatever. <clears throat> Here with Dr. Lavender. Hello. He signed my knee in case I want to sell it when I'm done with it. <laughs> they didn't give me any anesthesia. They said just bite down on this towel and you'll be fine. Right. I'm having milligrams. I beat it. You beat what? The worst medical. What did I have? You had an ACL tear and a meniscus tear. Did you guys cure my depression as well as my knee? I wish we had, but we didn't. We're just going to keep that going. <laughs> Lavender did a, he fixed my ACL a week ago and I, I just can, I can barely walk. Oh wait, we did a fertilized ACL, didn't we, Dr. Lavender? That's Look right, now. that's right, there Look you go. Now. I can do anything, there you can go. I run or not uh, doctor's uh, orders? Uh, or walking back? Look at this! this Jack, I don't know, don't run, don't run. <laughs> this is all right, all right, okay, 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 okay. Um, good job of being a doctor, man. <laughs> I love your titty. If we had an HR department, that would be harassment. You be the HR person. Okay. You're going to turn me in for harassment. Okay. Okay. Jared. Hey. Jared. Hey. hey, buddy. Hey, guys. I'm turning him in for harassment. She's turning him in for harassment. Oh. Okay. Um, you hey. said you loved my titties. Objection. Objection. You okay. say you're on What titty? <laughs> so hear me out. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> you can't say that. As your HR representative, you can't say that. It's a joke, Jared. That's funny. No, trust me. I'm a lover of all titty sizes. I want to say that. <laughs> A lot of you might be shouting at your screen now, sexist. What's that sexist? Misogynistic. Against the movement. How is that against the movement if you're for all No, 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 no. Before that one, I was making fun of the t oh. Like, that's a joke between friends, but since we're on a podcast, people are going to be like, oh, he's meaning that towards everyone. When in reality, that's just riffing between friends. See, like, you go to me, so you'd be like, oh, little tiny p boy. Say that to me. Oh, little tiny p boy. Got him. Now, she doesn't mean that all p that are tiny are bad. Right. No. Oh! Oh! How would you survive prison? I'd be locked up and c***ed up, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I am not a tough guy. The only way I'd survive is by being someone's boy toy. I'd be walking around holding people's pockets like, yes, daddy, it's the only words I would know. <laughs> I'd be handing out this booty like it's candy. Who dropped the soap? Me. Hey, boys, the hot sign is on. Come on in. It's time to crispy this cream. Is your name Thomas? Because feel free to run a train through this tunnel. Oh, I'm here to make friends. I, I'm, I'm scared of being shanked, Jared. No. I don't want to tussle. Feel free to fill me up with that below the belly button muscle, baby boys. That's oh, all I'm saying. God, know that I would go oh, out wow, to not be shamed. If you could have an endless supply of anything, what would it be? Mine would be uh, Dyson Airwrap Stylers, because girls will do literally anything for them. Cut to her reaction. Oh, I want one <laughs> so bad. And there we go. A Dyson what? A Dyson Airwrap Styler. Airwrap. I want one so bad, and it's girls all I can, can uh, curl you. and dry their hair at the same time. Yes, so. and it gives you like this beautiful '90s bouncy blowout. Stay educated, Jared. It's wet down there right now, dude. I want one. <laughs> They're like seven hundred dollars up. Well, I was gonna wonder why more people don't have them. I've got an endless supply. All I'm saying, ladies. I want one so bad. My All I've been point. asking for for Christmas for like two years. My all right. Point. Well, Santa's got a budget, so They're literally amazing. They come with all these different attachments, and they suck up your hair. It's beautiful. I want one so bad. My wonderful nurse Tammy just offered to adopt me. I didn't think she said that. Are you married, Tammy? I'm not. Well, I need a father figure in my life. I thought we were going to kill two birds with one stone. And this is not what I was looking for, Tammy. Tammy's got an admirer. Let me find you another shot. No, no, no. no. I'm, looking, I'm looking for a mother. But still, you must admire her. I do admire her. But I want to keep it cordial. I apologize, Tammy, if I make you uncomfortable, but this is... Tammy's not here. <laughs> this is all for taxes, Tammy. Tammy's not here. Unlike my father, Tammy will be back. <laughs> You're like... What did I say? Guess who's back? Yeah, well, it's Tammy's job. Wonderful to Tammy. Oh, Tammy, I never thought you'd hurt me, but here we are. Oh, just like every other woman in my life, Tammy. You're good. You got this. You got it. Oh. Woohoo! Thank you. Look at Tammy. She's doing the Lord's work. She slipped me a hundred and said, "If you feel any pain, don't tell anybody." And I said, "Okay, Tammy. I don't know if this is legal." What is your best pickup line? This is my go-to. Dave Mueller, burn your house down. 
it's like 63% effective. It's 63% effective, so what? I gotta say it's sweet. Then try it again? Yeah. Hey, if you don't go on a date with me, I'll burn you and your family alive. Better with a smile, you're right. Would you care if your friend dated your sibling? I mean, if he wants my sloppy seconds, then that was an Alabama joke. And I apologize. I have a big Alabama audience. All right, she's getting out of the car. So sorry about that one, guys. I wonder if she's ever gonna come back. My dad didn't, so why would I expect her to, you know what I mean? What do you guys notice first in girls? Probably their ability to produce D1 athletes. You know, we see their bone structure and we're like, oh, my baby could probably hit a wheel route. You know what you I mean? You check some height? I want my kid to dunk if that's okay. What? Like guys being in the like five two girls sometimes though. Because when they get mad, you can just relocate them. If they're like no no no, you just pick them up and be like you're over here now, and there's nothing you can do about it. What's a fupa? fupa. Fat upper p area. Really? <laughs> it's an acronym? Yeah. Oh, I'm pro fupa. You want to know why? Why? Because have you ever watched a movie with your lady? And there's no better place to watch a movie with your lady than your head between your thighs laying down watching the movie. <gasps> the oh fupa is like a little God. headrest. It's like one of those travel neck pillows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so pro the fupa. fupa is a travel neck pillow? Hashtag free the fupa. That's good. Hashtag Alliteration. Justice for, justice for the fupa. There we go. Justice for the fupa. Give me the worst ways to break up with your girlfriend. I'm going to do it by phone. Hey, you know that tune, Everybody Makes Mistakes by uh, Hannah Montana? Well, every time I hear that song, I think of our relationship. So might as well just cut it off here. <laughs> No, 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 no. The thing is, I thought about it, and forever is just too long. No, I appreciate the teddy bear you sent me for our anniversary, but our relationship is still unbearable. <laughs> no, it's not insensitive. It's a play on words. You ever heard of Dr. Seuss? I wasn't cheating. I was pretending to be a guy, no, in case I wanted to get into the medical field. Oh, my God. Totally joking. I definitely was cheating. So what? do with that information what you will, but I feel like we should stop being together. Yes, I'm grateful for the kidney you gave me. No, I'm not in love with you anymore. What's the big deal here? No, I just graduated community college. The thing is, I'm steps above you now. I need a date in my league. This relationship blows. <laughs> kind of like your uh, candles later today. Happy birthday. Not on her birthday. Okay, just do the six month of Kegels, and then we'll talk about it, all right? But for right now, we're on a break. Let's tighten that thing up, huh? Zach. What? No. How are you feeling? I feel swag. You remember how that term was very popular back in, I'd say, 2011? Mm -hmm. That's how I'm feeling right now. Do you actually feel like it or what's going on? I feel <laughs> like hell. Really? But I'm going to tell people I feel like swag, so they're like, wow, that guy is double tough. Okay. Are you in pain? I think they took my whole knee. Are you in pain? I haven't seen my knee, and I'm pretty sure they stole it, and they gave it to someone else. Yeah. They decided not to perform on the knee. This actually isn't my leg anymore. No. Turns out I had so much knee. They just cut Zach. some of it. They cut okay. of it off. Okay. And then this is what that is. Mm -hmm. So they just attached it over here. Mm -hmm. So they put the leg over here because it was smaller. Mm -hmm. well, we lower your knees. Jeez, over there. You need that pee bottle? They said I should jog home, and I just don't think that's right. Give me the worst ways to break up with your girlfriend. Oh, okay. Hey, babe, saw a picture of your grandma online. Uh, Wrinkle City, population her, am I right? But to cut to the chase, it looks like your bloodline ages like old milk. So I'm just going to cut it off here if that makes sense. Oh, that's horrible. Also, wanted to mention, I was on the train today and I met this diverse baddie. And uh, I don't want to let MLK down. So I'm kind of kind of pursue that. Gave her my number and everything. So equality, I guess you could say. No, the thing is, you're white and I only dark mean at Thanksgiving. You should have seen this coming. It's on you. Absolutely not. What don't you understand? And yes, I'm breaking up with you. And yes, I got you pregnant. Why do you think I bought you all those hangers? No. Go fishing, sweetheart. Go fishing. That's not okay. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I could not imagine starting a family with you. What have you said to ask out a girl? Um, this is my go-to. Hey, baby. <laughs> you get me excited like a pervert who just got a job at a local Chuck E. Cheese as the mascot because he's hugging kids all day. Ew, Zach! What? It shows the level of excitement Ew, I have. Ew, what? Be cultured. Have you ever been cheated on? Yeah, I actually walked in on my ex-girlfriend in bed with someone else. What did so, you do? Well, I, I told the guy, I was like, Who are you? He's like, My name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. And I was like, that's my name too. Okay. So she's she's got a type, but okay. it still scarred me. So the death of black lives is a joke to you. <laughs> when, when did I say that? You did. did I say that? Millions of black people die every day at the hand of the police. <laughs> That's just not true. Uh, who told you that, Fox News? <laughs> no statistics. <laughs> ah. If millions of black people died every day, the entire race will be gone in like a, a month. Interesting. So you know exactly how long it would take to kill all black people. I'll have you know, my nanny growing up was Jamaican. And that's like original black. So I know what you guys are going through. You know what? 
I matched with a black girl on Tinder and I almost went on a date with her, but my grandma wouldn't let me because she's racist, but I wanted to go. Yeah, my friend's dad was black. I don't sleep with a nightlight because I like it darker. When's the last time you've been to Church's Chicken? When's mm. the last time you went to a Southern Baptist church and waved a fan in your face for three hours? Last Tuesday. I blink twice as often so I can see darkness more. I never blink because I don't want to miss any black people walking by. God, that's nice of you. I would, I'm going to start doing that probably. Yeah, in middle school, I only showed up to the classes that had black teachers. I haven't graduated high school yet, yeah. but I don't give a f Did you guys do me a huge favor? Of course, anything, you want. anything for a black guy. And try shutting the heck up! So, have you ever ran track and field? You know the javelin? They stuck a smaller javelin in here, and then they pumped me full of fairy dust, and now your boy's on cloud nine. And I'm thinking about getting a plug because I like the feeling. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I want my life to decline because of how much I love what they put me on. I feel better than the day my mom got me my first bicycle. So think about that. Nothing's better than this moment. At one point, all the nurses, they came in with money and it's like, can I give you this much money to make out with you? I'm like, no, please stop. They're like, can I give you this much as money? At one point, I had to give in because one of them paid $100,000, slipped their tongue in, in my mouth. And you can't turn down that money. I got to pay for the medical bills. So now it's all paid for, which is great. But I had a nurse's tongue in my mouth and I'm just going to say this. I don't remember if it was a girl, but I did ask if it could have been a girl. So that's not my fault. I'm going to get you dressed now. I am naked under this. I know. But so is everyone under their clothes. Yeah. So gang, sometimes life knocks you down, and that's when you should give up. They didn't fix my depression. All I did was fix my knee, not my depression. So guess who's going home sad? Me. Nurse, she's trying to strangle me. Stop. No, I'm not. She's trying to hurt me. I'm not. Why are you making this more difficult? Are we going to the club tonight or not? No. Because I expect you to grind on me. You bring my granny. I do not want her to grind on me. But I'm open to it. Nothing hurts me. You did not buy a ticket of Six Flags and I did, so I need you to step away from the ride. Just checking on you. I know, I'm trying. Okay. Hey, ladies. I'm gonna go. Welcome ask. to my Tinder. If you're trying to see a little uh, of the peace, hit me up. We can uh, get you a DocuSign consensual contract. I'll let you know how it is, because I guess I'm about to see it, because I'm gonna put your underwear on. It's gonna be impressive. Wait, yeah, what? Okay, you're gonna pretend you're a guy that's nervous for his first time. Got it. Um, I'll move the pillow in a second. A little bit of a pre-show that you didn't buy tickets to, girly. Um, hey, how about we pretend I'm sunlight and you're a plant and you absorb me like photosynthesis? I'm so sorry, this is my first time with Dirty Talk. It's so exhilarating. More Dirty Talk. Um, are you Mormon? Because, uh, here's your letter for missionary work. Shout it or whatever. So spread them or, or don't, whatever. If you want to, did you happen to get my DocuSign for the consent form, by the way? Um, my... Send it by email. I could also send it by fax, but I didn't think a lot of people had that. <sighs> they didn't give me any anesthesia. They said, just bite down on this towel and you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, we talked to the doctor. I'm super strong. They said, they yeah. said I'm the best patient they've ever had in medical history. In medical history? They said I'm, I'm not the GOAT, but I fit the description. And then the nurse, get this, me and the nurse are hanging out. I've got my knee hurt. And she's like, do you want to get in a whip and nay nay dance battle? And I said, ma'am, I just had surgery. She said, oh, so you a punk. So I stood up and I whipped my nay nay. I whipped and nay nay myself in the first place. Yes, I want to get you dressed now. Okay, step back for a second. I need to show you something. Oh my God. Have you so heard of 2014? Yeah. Because that getting, was a big thing. I'm getting you dressed now. I was prescribed 64 nay nays before I can leave. Zach. I don't want to do it either. Zach, can you? Come on, I'm not the goat, but I fit this description. So you're gonna show me how you meet your girlfriend's guy best friend. Easy. Hey, Zach, this is my best friend Matt. Yo, what up? I know you want to enter her. So hey, nice to meet you, man. What, what did you say? Nothing, man. Double dap up for new friendship. I swear, if you touch her uterine wall even one time, you'll be reading in braille for the rest of your life. Hey, Zach! So good to meet you, dude. Zach! What? He's gay. Is he gay or is it just a front to watch you change sometimes, huh? Huh? If you're so gay, come, come tongue wrestle me right now. Let's get intimate with our tongues, huh? Let's pin each other down with our tongues in three seconds. In the octagon! I beat it. You beat what? The worst medical, what did I have? You had an ACL tear and a meniscus tear. Did you guys cure my depression as well as my knee? I wish it? we had, but we didn't. We're just gonna keep that going? <laughs> Perfect. Who's driving? So I'm gonna I'm gonna drive the first like five no, minutes. He's not. He's not driving. And then we're gonna trade off. Who will be driving? Well, the doctor told me right before I went under. He's like, make sure you drive on your way home. And I was like, Doctor Lavender, that can't be correct. And he said it is. We don't trust anything. You're under the influence.
You know, I've always wanted a DUI. Just Zach. Zach. I'm gonna be honest. You're a very qualified nurse, and you've been doing a great job today. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to reception and guess who's getting a raise. <laughs> Not you because I don't have any pull here, but I will write a strongly worded letter using words that are, that are Harvard level. So I guess you're welcome. <laughs> Do you feel any pain? I've never felt pain in my entire life. But do you feel pain? Because I'm so strong. Do you feel pain? <laughs> Have you ever heard of toxic masculinity? You're Are you wearing experience underwear? Experience it. I am elite. I feel like the Thor of this hospital. You're not wearing underwear, are you? My wiener is out. <laughs> and all the nurses came by and said, wow. <laughs> they said, that's a good one. At one point, all the nurses came in because I was naked and they just started bowing down at it. <laughs> and apparently, my wiener is now the leader of this hospital. Zach! Can you imagine talking about his wiener his granny? Your granny's right here. Granny knows. She used to change my diapers. She used to bow down as well. So you're gonna show me how a third grader goes through a breakup. Got it. I just can't believe she's playing kissy face with someone else on the playground. It's like, sure, he can kick the kickball way farther than me, but I've got this 68 count Crayola cram pack. Does that mean nothing anymore? I told you, you should've got the 69 pack. I, I, I couldn't, man. My brother's got that one. He's been doing it with his girlfriend a lot, trust me. Oh, what am I gonna do? Red Rover, Red Rover, send my depression right over. Can you go to the Dr. Seuss section of the library for me and just see if they have anything on heartbreak? So you're gonna show me how you tell your girlfriend's dad she's pregnant. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of the birds and the bees. Uh, well, normally if your daughter's on her knees. I beg you don't hurt me, please, but I entered her hole like some keys. Riding it like a boat on the seas, I left something behind. Not disease. Oh, you're looking at me with such unease. Who am I kidding? Just kill me, jeez. <laughs> So you're going to show me how you react if you ran into your girlfriend's ex-boyfriend. Okay. Like I said, I'm sorry for wearing your clothes. I didn't think you were going to come home and, and catch me. Michael! Um... Oh, look who it is! The guy whose name she screams every other time and doesn't realize she's doing it. Come on, man! Hey! N no! No! Joke's on you! Because I like leftover pizza rather than fresh. So, <laughs> that's what I prefer. And here's some science for you, buddy! An average cervix is four to five inches deep. So have fun walking around with that third leg of yours. Because it's unnecessary, frankly. And sure, I can't satisfy her like you can, but I'm... What is the freakiest thing you've ever done? <laughs> In high school, it's actually a true story. This girl had me tape a picture um, of her deceased boyfriend onto my face as she made intimate love with me um, because she just wanted to feel him one more time. Um, now, that I, now that I ring it back, a little weird, but... What is your biggest red flag names? Like Sarah, Emily, Kim... Well, Kim's a great name, and then, but when it's followed by Jung Un, then it gets a little dicey. Same thing with Adolf. You know, questionable past with people that have used that name, to say the least. How do you get out of the friend zone? I like to threaten their immediate family at gunpoint. Um, that usually does the trick. But then the love just feels a little inauthentic, if that makes sense. It's like, are they even there for the right reasons? <sighs> Girls! Am I right? So you're gonna show me how you hit on a girl drunk at a party. Okay. You're pretty! I talked to the judge, and he said you won the custody battle, so the kids can stay at mom's house tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like a hot girl who puts a Bible verse in her selfie caption. Because I just want attention. Oh. You need to lay off the booze, dude. Can I lay on your boobs instead? <laughs> I lay off the booze, I lay on your boobs. <laughs> you're into me. Well, maybe you're not, I don't know. But either way, you ha I got a contract for consent, so we're all good. <laughs> Are you my Uber? So you're gonna pretend to be a cousin, hitting on his cousin in Alabama. What? Baby, I don't know if you heard, but me and my sister broke up, so uh, I'm trying to get a Woody from someone else on the family tree. How about you're the ham and I'm the cheese, cause I want us to be in bread. <laughs> baby, my bed. It's kind of like Olive Garden, because when you're here, you're family. Can I get a, can I get a yee <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! That's okay. Handsome. It's so thank cute! You. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's 
sorry. No. I just really like him. What's up, handsome? Your daddy ain't no punk. I want you to know that. I'm crying because, like, I cut onions the other day. <laughs> so. Oh, shit. I'm going to cry. Oh. I love him so much. I'm such a little B word. I can't, you can't cuss in front of him because he's a little boy. <laughs> he's so beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm being like a little crybaby dude. Like, it's we're boys. The no, thing we're ever. boys. I gotta tighten it up. You're right. I gotta tighten it up. Oh, I can't tighten it up. I cannot tighten it up. <laughs> dude, I have never been in love more in my entire life. So, you're gonna walk in and give me the worst ways to turn your girl on? Easy, baby. You're like a toaster in my bathtub after my mental health gets the best of me. Because I wanna turn you on. Oh, shit. You could call me Usain Bolt because Jamaican me or. <laughs> also, I finish fast. Unlike my dad in the, in the custody battles, I'm excited to see you on weekends. The last time my dad played with me, I was in his box. <laughs> Are you trying to be like LeBron in the fourth and scream, they're, they're double teaming, teaming me? <laughs> you see the coordination? Yeah, yeah, we I brought do. a basketball, not the only ball. Go away. We brought four more. Go away! <laughs> well, what am I doing? Just warming up your dinner. <laughs> Baby, you and me just make sense. Kind of like how Snoop Dogg on his 60th birthday will be 420 in dog years. Oh! Fun fact of the day. Yeah. So you're gonna walk in and give me the worst ways to turn your girl on. Got it. Hey, do you want to get pregnant? Because just like my uncle, I want to put my kids in a dark place and not let them out. Oh. What? He's Snack. rehabilitating in prison. No. Baby, the naughty pictures you sent me on Snapchat remind me of my dad. Because you, you see him once and then they're gone. <laughs> I hope Ezra Miller isn't around because I'm the only one trying to beat it up. Oh, shit. Topical. You know, you always reminded me of a personification of a donut. Are you trying to be a Boston cream filled tonight or just glazed? You what? what? Hello, I am Weatherman from Channel 5 Bedroom News, and tonight you're getting two inches, and we're not talking snow. The things behind my zipper are laughable. <laughs> so you're gonna show me how you'd be that one weird roommate. Interesting. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, um, so can I, uh, if I, show, if I show you, if I tell you a secret, can you, uh, promise not to tell him? Come here. You know how I've always loved what? Marilyn Monroe? You remember that? How I always, I wanted to date her. I found, I found her body and I dug her up. I dug her up and she's right here now. We're in a relationship. You dug her up? We're in a relationship. That's so fucked up. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not because I read that um, she doesn't have to give consent if she's dead. So it's completely legal. It's completely legal. No, it's not. And she's bones and I like the bones. So we're, we're a relationship that works. We are. Oh. Sad. I'm spit sisters with a Kennedy. <laughs> no. <laughs>